Hi, I'm Lisa Bonjean, and I've made quilting my life's passion. I've been a shop owner now for 10 years. I'm a fabric designer with a wonderful company called Moda. I am a pattern designer for 15 years now, and I love every aspect of it, and I wouldn't trade any of it for another. I love it all, and I want to keep doing it all. I'm from Little Shoot, Wisconsin, a town of probably 5,000 when I grew up. Very small, very unique, very Dutch. <laughs> we had windmills everywhere. But um, now I reside probably 10 miles away from that in a collection of cities called the Fox River Valley. So I didn't really leave Little Shoot. I didn't grow up with quilts. So they, they, I never knew they really existed. I was I had tied some quilts and made some valances and stuff like that, you know, as an uh, early homemaker, but I never knew what a patchwork quilt was. So there was one time, I think I had all three boys at swimming lessons, and I was sitting, you know, watching, and there was another sweet little lady there, and she was hand quilting a baby quilt. And I looked at her, and I'm like, okay, wait a minute. How do you cut them all up? and put them all back together. I said, I've never seen anything like that. And, she's, and she just said, oh, you have to go to the quilt shop. And I'm like, quilt shop? And she's like, yeah, you know, it's on Main Street and you know, blah, blah, blah. And I, I mean, I couldn't get there fast enough. I was there Monday morning and I was like, okay, how do I take a class? How do I learn about, how do I use that pizza slicer or whatever, you know? And um, so that, in a matter of no time, I think right after my first class, my second project, I was like, okay, I don't want mine to look like her, so I'm gonna make mine a little different. And it, it was so natural for me. It was, and before you knew it, I was teaching at the sh at, at a, an, another shop that had opened, and it was it was like a, you know that aha moment or that you know the angels were singing and the doors were open and this I knew it was what I could do and I knew that I was going to be happy doing it. So ever since I started quilting, 19 years now, I have never been not stitching a project. When I first thought about a name for a quilt shop, I wanted it to be unique. I wanted it to be a gathering of different things, like what if I wanted to have antiques? What if I wanted to sell candles? What if I wanted to sell a little bit of gifts? So I wanted it to be kind of a, a name that could encompass many things. Well, I've always kind of wanted to have another store for whatever reason, I do not know. but. I like warm weather, so when you live in Wisconsin, it's nice to get away. And I teach a lot in California, so I thought California would be a really nice place to have a quilt shop. And we were looking for a couple of years. And then last, uh, maybe a market or two ago in Houston, I introduced my son to this wonderful young lady who is another pattern designer's daughter. So now they are both in California and we uh, opened a store so he can have a job there and run another store. I am so inspired from the past. I love the little prints from the 1800s. So when I wanted to design fabric, I said, okay, can I just stay in this little print world and just work on what I really love? And what happens with that is a lot of the things I do can be considered basic because they're pretty tonal. There's not a lot of color in each print. They're very um, simple, and that's where I really like to work because I really like the pattern in the quilt to be the feature, not necessarily every fabric in it. I would not mix a flannel with a straight cotton. Flannel is thicker, and but at the same time, I don't want to say I would, you know, I would never. I mean, I would never, but somebody else could. One of the things that I like is that. You know, there are certain rules that are out there, but but I broke one of those because I didn't know any better. I didn't know I couldn't put wool on cotton, that nobody ever did that before. So I don't want to tell somebody, no, you can't mix cotton and flannel, because you can if you want to. I just choose not to. If I'm on fl with flannel, I like all my base fabrics to be of the same weight, because some of them I think would, I mean, when you wash that quilt, I think, you know, like maybe the cotton would shrink more than the flannel or, or vice versa, whatever way, which way that would go. And I don't know, you know, how that would end up once you washed your quilt if you used it. Of course, if it was a wall quilt or something that's not gonna be washed, then who cares? But, um, you know, I don't do it, but doesn't mean somebody else can't. 
Well, I think there's room in this world for a lot of diversity, and I think that's what makes quilting fun. And, you know, I have a new grandson, and, you know, I might want to make him a funkier quilt instead of, you know, a Civil War quilt. That might be better suit what he's going to like. So I love the fact that we can do whatever we want. We can, we don't have to keep ourselves in those little boxes. And I just think that's what makes quilting great because we can choose to do whatever we want to do. We don't have to stay, you know, in, in a certain genre or whatever you want to, you know, a certain, a certain style. We can do whatever we want. We can be creative. We can, you know, follow somebody else's pattern. And that, that's what makes quilting what it is.